I am very excited about this month's collaboration with uh, Nate Bright Art for Nate's Art Lab collab. We have Jessica from Winter Storm Arts. She has really, really, really cool techniques uh, with the palette knives. So that's what we're doing. We're doing palette knives. So I've got one palette knife, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 20 palette knives. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, I have 20 palette knives. I've just always like acquired them and just played around with different sizes. I think this is gonna be the perfect size for this size canvas. I have here some piggies. I am using them um, more and more. I got my order a couple days ago and I'm just ready to go. These little piggies are uh, a pigment powder that I am just starting to get used to. I love them and I even made my own. This is Nebula, Syrah, or and Mermaid. If I'm saying Syrah wrong, will someone please tell me? Um, I mixed it up a couple days ago with um, Floetrol and uh, Joe Sonia's uh, Varnish. I cannot talk, talk today. It's this really cool, like steely, purplish bronze, not bronze, um, metal look. It's really cool. I, I just want to use it as some kind of like background layer. So um, I'm excited to try this. And then I have Mermaid, or Aphrodite and Macaw. And I am gonna put a base down and wish me luck. I'm not sure if I'm gonna spin it. If I decide to spin it, then I'll pull the spinner out. But uh, here we go. I'm about ready to make a really good, fun mess. Okay, during my word salad introduction, I did not get a chance to say that I would be using house paint as my base and that my swiping uh, cell activator would be Australian Floetrol mixed with Amsterdam's Titanium White. And that I also end up changing my mind completely and I go to the bigger palette knife because I wanted there to be as much room as I could on the back of the palette knife to load up the knife with all the cool colors that I wanted to use. So my first layer is going to be Australian uh, Floetrol mix as the cell activator. And then I go forward with the piggies from there. No! Ugh. to see rolling hills or city streets horse into ocean and all in between it's out there just waiting on you and me take it in we got no plans good things come to those who can live moment to moment and all in between it's out there just waiting
time stops when we're alone you got my love don't let it go feels like we're paper thin one step away from caving in when you're out with all the wild roams and you're looking for a way back home i'll be like that only you can see Absolutely love it. These these TOPs and um, I forgot to say that my base was house paint. Um, I believe it was uh, Gildan. Uh, I will tell you what it's called. It is Valspar 2000 interior paint, semi gloss interior. That's what my base is right here. And I don't usually use house paint, but I really, really wanted to try um, this technique with house paint um that's how jessica does it but oh my god i am madly in love with this i'm madly in love with the colors i never ever ever do anything that looks like um the turquoise copper and gold i never do those colors or bronze even so i think i definitely need to experiment more with those i am not going to touch it um which is hard because i always end up touching it but i really am not i'm going to go put this on my very level table to dry um, I will show you real quick. I'll bring it up to the camera. I just, I mean, look at it. Oh, I cannot wait to see this shimmer when it dries. I think it's going to be amazing. Woo. All right. Well, I'll see you guys all in a couple seconds. Wish me luck. It dries good. Oh my God. Look at it. Wow. 
it is dry it is not even varnished yet but look at that shimmer i am so thrilled with this i seriously i cannot wait to varnish this it is going to really really shimmer in fact i think i'll be right back i think i'm gonna go varnish it and i'll bring it right back okay i varnished it and it's even better I, I don't know if you can really see that shimmer, but that is really, really cool. I really liked loading the palette knife uh, with the different colors with the Australian Floetrol, uh, which is one of the things I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, of course. So, But this is a really cool technique. I will continue to play with palette knives and maybe try a couple more of um, Jessica's techniques. This was a lot of fun. I hope you all liked this video and this wonderful train that we have going on today for the February challenge. I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Go have fun. Make a mess. Hi, everybody. Cherish the Messy Painter here. I am super excited about this collaboration for February. It is with, why am I clapping? Oh. All right, February. It is Nate's art collab. Oh my God, what? I can't talk. I cannot talk. Oh my God. Nice. With a special guest, uh, Jessica from Winter Storm Art. If you haven't seen her page, please go follow it. It's really, she's got the coolest stuff. Fuck. Please hang up and try again. Everything's alright I think we were born